All right, what is up, you guys? And of course, always welcome back to another Wi-Fi battle. Now we're going with the Hypno Week, and uh, I am not sure how that's gonna work out, but uh, <laughs> I'll take it. And uh, going with regular, you know, code the 2221 code going up against Luke, and really hope to get you know into battle with something more solid and not something that overwhelms me directly. Jesus Christ. <laughs> But that's the thing though, like when I go into these games, I know exactly what I'm going up against. There is going to be struggles. I just really hope that sometimes when I do this, that I don't need to face it. And I'm gonna lead off with Anastasia mainly because of rocks. Um, the only positive trait I see that if there is a defogger, it is Skarmory. And while threatening, it, it's something I can head on deal with and um, I can only assume Rotom is lead, right? Let's see, Lucario. So, depending on the Lucario, this could be good. If it's physical, that is. Uh, I do have access to uh, Will-O-Wisp. It would be really nice to shut it down. Um, oh, Thunder Wave is kind of nice, too. Will-O-Wisp, I mean Thunder Wave. Let's see. We do outspeed, which is definitely nice. Shut it down is so helpful. <laughs> And we'll find out whether or not it's physical, of course. Um, goes directly for a Meteor Mash. So I think the follow-up hit is most likely um, a bullet bullet punch. Let's see, no attack in trees, which is great. Kind of... Kind of want to... Um, like, like I said, bullet punch is such a big thing. Yeah, spring, sending in Solgo, I think. I think you managed this matchup. It, it all depends, of course. Um, at least that's going to be resisted and really helpful. Withdrawal is nice, I think. To Tyranitar. Alright, so maybe. Maybe not as solid as I wanted to. Um, good send off, however. Um, thing is, I really don't enjoy those Stone Edges. Um, but nice switching. I mean, the residuals is definitely helpful for him. So I could go for possible skull burn. Um, yeah, I think I'd rather take this route. I can always put this guy asleep. I also go for strength sap. I also gotta watch out for the obvious part, which is how much can a stone edge really do? Um, connects it, of course it does. And mother. That was a crit. Right, nice. Uh, that's unfortunate. So, hope out speed, maybe? Most likely not. Yes! Bloodroot! Bloodroot, that's right! That's, that's not something I anticipated at all. Nice. Uh, <laughs> so, right, let's see. Stealth rocks. Yeah, slightly annoying. But just slightly, it's um, not the end of the world yet. Um, it does kill Frostlass for the moment at least. That's um, I'm going for sleep powder here. Lucario could be a really solid switch in for all the wrong reasons, but... Um, yeah, I mean, Luko, this I did not anticipate that at all. <laughs> this also means actually that my uh, man time could very well be faster. Let's see, response here is Rochom. I'm not sure that's a switch in actually. Sleep powder connected, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Kind of surprised about this switch in. I mean, what if I went for a Giga Drain, right? Yeah, what if I went for it? <laughs> okay, so leftovers, I assume it's somewhat defensive. Um, stabs doesn't necessarily bother me at all. Let's find out. I was really annoying my opponent right now. I'm I couldn't think of anything else as so this is yeah that, that's the scalmery like that's the switching that's the guy we're watching out for, and I'm gonna do nothing here. Like <laughs> like that's the guy. <laughs> that was a crit, <laughs> please. Okay, so my switching is Solgo. I really, really, really hope um, that um, my opponent does not have access to Raw. 
because I'm pretty sure my opponent could just straight up spike up. <sighs> really worried about that whirlwind. Won't deny it. Because if like Mantine's viability kind of plummeted with the heavy duty boots not being a thing. So right, that's fair. We have a bit of um like what do you call it? Um, stalemate. Yep, defogging. I mean, what else could I do, right? I kind of assume... You got redraws. That, that works for me. For the time being. Back to Rotom. Which are asleep. And my defog pretty much ensure... That... Uh, well... Things are going to get rough from here. Alright. So he has forced to sleep at least once. Kinda, I kind of like that idea. Um, gonna send Anastasia. And get for one round of spikes at least, because then after that I probably don't need to worry about it all that much. Because let's say he switches into Tyrannosaur, that probably works for me in the grand scheme of things. Let's find out. I mean, an ice beam is not going to do anything anyway. And if I were him, I'd probably be worried about Destiny Bond, which I don't carry. Full on annoyer. Let's see. One round of spikes. Great. You're forced to sleep. Not a round of spikes. And he should still be sleeping. And now we put on the Hurt with a Hex. Before he wakes up, just to get some damage in there. Because I want him to Volt Switch. Yeah, that did alright. Wakes up. Volt what? What if I went for a Destiny Bond? My god, would you have been ruined. <laughs> but great chip there. Definitely like that. Uh, let's see what follows. Skarmory. So kind of have to assume he's gonna defog. I'm <laughs> gonna bring this guy so much. The Yippee mother. <laughs> but yeah, sending him this Troya, Choice Bandit, Stone Edge. Um, I'm not sure it's gonna force it out, but it's gonna hurt. And that's what I'm going for. Granted, I connect it. Nice! Yes. Utterly destruction. And next time he'll die to it. The only switching he has is Lucario, which is crippled. Let's see. He has to really think about this. Like Lucario, I mean that's four times resisted. He's got um he's gonna take it fairly alright, I think. He is thinking about it, so it's not like he enjoys this situation at all, which I'll take. I just want the Skarmory gone so I can start Earthquaking instead. Ah, coward. Coward. Two guard shop. Oh yeah, forgot about that. We have these guys to worry about too. Stone Edge, how much will it do? <sighs> not very effective. <sighs> Please. Whatever, brah. Whatever. Right, sending in Valplume. Um, the only combinations I see that could be worrisome is Sword Stance, but I think he's just gonna go straight up an Earthquake. Yeah. How much will it do? Um, enough to kill, it seems. So that a bit troubling. He's gonna Quake again, that's for sure. So we're gonna send in Solgo this time, <laughs> just to kind of manage it. Let's see, and Solgo should not be worried about it. And I should easily go for Skull here. No, because he's gonna send in his Rotom for this, right? So I'm gonna send in Falsetto, knowing that it's gonna come in. Right? Tyranitar. Somehow that's worse. Not what I wanted to see, actually. Ah, 
he really wanted to take that skull burn. I'm, I don't know, I'm not sure what I think about that. Not to worry, however, not to worry. Yet. Let's see. Fake out here. I could have hammer arm. He knows that, right? <laughs> what do it been? That's right. You flinched and don't do anything to you. Guess with Quake here, I'm probably sure it's gonna set up stealth rocks. So Quake's gonna do a huge chunk. I thought. Doubt I did not as much as I wanted to. Stealth rocks, sure, buddy, sure. And consider I'm what ten minutes in. I kind of need to go for um, for some breaking points here. So I'm gonna double edge on the Skarmory, hoping he switches out to the Skarmory. I kind of need that to happen. Like, would he sack play the Trantar? I'll be all for it, but I'm pretty sure Skarmory comes in. Yes, and let's see. At this range, how much will a double edge do? Oh yeah, that's right. I'm pretty sure we can take it out. <laughs> I'm so glad I got this play right. Uh, <laughs> so Skarmory is out, which means we're gonna start quaking. Um, I still don't know how to beat Garchomp, but we'll we'll we'll, we'll figure out things from there. Um, Skarmory gone is definitely what like I, I got to play right, right? That that's the only thing that matters. Uh, <laughs> It's more problematic, I think, with Garchomp. Rochomp... Should outspeed Rochomp, though. Right? How much will Double H do on this guy? Let's see... I really hope it stinks. I need it to sting. Yes! Not a switch in! Piece of shit! <laughs> nuh-uh! Nuh-uh! Mama said no. There we go. That's the guy we're looking for. Unfortunately for me, I should say. Um, oh, I don't want to. Don't want to kill this guy. But Yippee Ki Yay looking to be very, very. Well, let's just face it. Yippee Ki Yay MF for mother. Yeah, you get it. Um, Hypno Week is gonna start rough. Outrage. Oh shit, that's aggressive. Yeah, that's that's not gonna fly with me. Okay, so it's an uphill battle from here. Question is, like, fake out should help. Take a lot of chipping right now. Oh, that's a lot of chipping, yeah. Can I give myself some rough skin? But fake out should do decent, I hope. Yeah, not decent enough. I'll tell you guys that already. Clinched? Yeah. Ha! Confused. That's right. Alright, so I really gotta hope he hurts himself in confusion while I go for a sucker punch. I think that's my best bet. I didn't know, by the way, the fake out kinda... Oh no! Force you to... Um, let's see, try and that's fair. I'm a sucker punch will be just wasted. <clears throat> All right, so I need to kind of sack falsetto here, unfortunately. Um, the only positive trade I get from this is that I can strength sap straight off. <sighs> That's gonna be a cool wrap-up game. I mean, we're now like five minutes in, so I kind of need a game to get a crit now, right? No, pfft. close though, close. Zone Edge, absolute ruin me. Damn. Um, I, like the problem is I don't remember the team that well. But I think so. Everything I got left dies to Garchomp. But then again, what doesn't, right? Um, the strength up here. I still can capitalize on Sleep Powder, which is probably something I should consider. But this matchup, as long as it doesn't crit me, I, I win it. Let's see, Stone Edge, yes, exactly what I needed. 
bit of a lead room. <laughs> like I said, I needed it. The only thing I'm worried about is... Um, oh, he doesn't have Sand Veil, but that would have been something I would have been potentially worried about. Let's see, Lucario is a um, problematic mon also. Crippled, but problematic. Like I said, I can't remember the team. I'd rather had that miss, however, like, last turn. Um, because I think Lucario comes in and just strains my team. And it's going to be all about whether or not, like, Bloodroot can keep it at distance. Um, Garchomp locks themselves in Outrage, and I think the effects spot alone is enough to make my day a lot longer. Um... What else we got? Like, yeah, the car was a switching. Nice. Crippled and overall pretty sad, I'm sure. Let's see, which... How many months we got? Two? Three months. Yeah, I'm sitting in Solgo. I really don't know how to beat it besides, um, like, Force Plane. It's all about pretty much sacking Solgo right now. Uh, if I can get it right, that would be nice, but combination of just meter mash and stuff like that is going to make me really really whittled yeah I took it kind of right all right cool I think I skull here here slash would be more annoying but uh, skull just to get the chip burn they should be carrying a rock move right don't see these guys often enough withdraws nice get something burned Azumarill. Oh, yeah, that's a thing, isn't it? We're not aqua jetting and all of that. So, we need a burn. Oh, Jesus. So, play rough pretty much kills me. When I was a young boy, my daddy took me into the city. To see a marching band. Please don't belly drum. Play rough. Pfft. Uh, okay, that actually did a lot. <laughs> I was just about to say, please, but yeah. It depends on why we're pleasing. Spring Sap in for sure. Hoping I can solve this riddle of damage. Ah, coward. I'll take it though. Back to the Lucario. Um, <sighs> Does this mean that this is his main, like, source of planning? Going to Lucario, hoping to beat me. Because, yeah, going back into Solgo, but I'm mean, getting too whittled down. I just, my Giga Range shouldn't do anything. Yeah, three minutes left. I kind of need to speed this up. I am one of those guys that, unfortunately, do not want to win the timer by, well, not doing anything. I need this to kind of work. Let's see. Meteor Mash. Won't kill me, but if it gets an attack increase, then we are in trouble. Scalding again. Like I said, we need to wrap up. I'm not interested in sack playing. As of right now, I just need a game to be finished. <sighs> Don't take this long! I mean, I could stall you out if I wanted to, but that's not what I want. Come on, man. Come on. Goes into guard shop. All right. If you can get this guy burned, then we're all solid. Ooh, yeah. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see. Oh, we got one more round in him. He's gonna go for an outrage. Well, fine. Fine. <laughs> and after this, he can't beat the Valplu, which is incredible. So... I am pretty much assume I win here. It all depends, of course, but... Yeah. The only problem I have is that... Like, Rhyperior is my main source of attack. 
and it can't beat a Sumeril. So the only thing that beats my Sumeril is the Lucario, right? And that's... I think I got this play wrong. Come on, Bloodroots. 60 seconds left. He needs a crit or packing the send headbutt, I'm sure. I only need to strength sap and not get critted. As if that's a possibility, I'm not sure about that. Oh yeah, he's still crippled, so his main source is, I'm sure, um, Meteor Mash. Um, yeah. And as long as it doesn't crit me, yeah, we're here not gonna get it. You're not gonna get it, buddy. So... Yeah, I get rages for damage. I think I lose out of our HP, remaining HP, that is. Depending on, he might not actually make a play. If that is that the plan? Seems to be the plan. Unfortunately for me. But that said, no, GG, Luke, came down to wire. Uh, had a hard time going too aggressive here. I really wanted to be more aggressive. But it seems to actively not making the last play, so a bit of a shame. Um... But, like I said, oh, you defeated Duke. How about that? So he stole for all the wrong reason. Who's a little bitch now, huh? Damn shame. Anyway, guys, as always, thank you for watching. Hope you liked the team. And, uh, yeah, it seems I can, with this team at least, um, pressure some OU. Who knew? So, hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care, one right? Bye.